Hi, this is John Morgan with the latest video tip for 2020 design. Let's talk about add custom elevation. I want you to notice that I have three different elevation types. If I want to have an elevation of all three walls, I'm going to hold the control key down. I'm going to click in that wall, that wall, and that wall. When you hold the control key down, that multi selects. If I double click on that one and I bring down my elevation again, you will see that I actually have all three walls in one elevation. What happens if I actually want them to be all on one piece of paper? Because right now these would be on three pieces of paper if we printed. Under the layout feature, there's a brand new option called Add Custom Elevation. If I click on this, I'm going to move down to the screen and there is a line. If I take that line and I line it up here on the far left, and I stretch it all the way across the screen, and I click, it's going to give me a little blue space. If I look at my elevations again, you'll see elevation one was the single wall, elevation two, three separate walls, elevation three actually shows me two of the walls, but the middle wall is missing. Why is that? The middle wall is missing because, all right, because right here, you'll see that we have this blue line, it actually doesn't touch the cabinets on this far wall. So we can change that. I can right click, I can go to change depth, and I can say, instead of making the depth 27 inches, make it 36 inches. When I do that, the little blue area is going to now stretch out to this wall. And if I come back down here and I take a look, you'll see that I have all three walls on the same elevation.